Ja. So. Um, should I talk to Pyre? To. I forgot his name. Or to. Caldiff. Uh, Tauru. Um, you. Hey, you there? Come here. Oh. Haven't you heard? This is forbidden to get near the ring ruin by Princess Zelda's order. So better be on your way. Princess Zelda's order. Oh. You heard me. Princess Zelda came out to conquer village. The other day, and told everyone to steer clear of the ring ruin. Oh. She left in a hurry, so I didn't quite catch the why of it all. As you surely noticed, this ruin could come crumbling down anytime, so folks need to keep away so they don't get injured. I'm sure that's where her concerns were coming from. Okay, so I can tell you that she was a fake. Mr. Lin, good morning. Oh. Are you thinking about the floating ring ruin? I am as well. It has been on our minds for some time. Mm. We would like to suggest resuming the research if we may. Have you since figured out what became of Princess Zelda? <laughs> what? The Zelda who appeared after the people was a creation of the Demon King? And the real Princess Zelda still hasn't been found? But how can this be true? Mm. It's such an unbelievable tale, and yet... I trust you completely, Master Link. It must be as you say. It is hard to explain, but the princess we saw was somehow unfamiliar. It was as though her very aura was different. Mm -hmm. But if she was an imposter the whole time, that would mean... The real reason she ordered us to close off the floating ring ruins was... <gasps> Because the Demon King saw it as a threat, isn't that right? That only means one thing, we should investigate the floating ring ruins immediately. Mm. You are exactly right, there is no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Let's open up the floating ring ruins at once, Mr. Tauro. Uh. Knowledge is stunning on the line. Time to really in some results. Uh, your learning phrasing is coming through, Mr. Tower. <laughs> you must really be pleased. Mm. It's just... There's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct this survey. Oh. Oh. It's clear that the interior of the ri this ring is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. If the contents of the other ring ruins are an indication, I don't remember what was on the other ones. There should be a stone slab inside engraved is on a script. Mm. First we should look for a way to confirm that there's a stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage these precious ruins. Oh, oh pardon me, I was lost in thought. I better hurry and tell everyone about this so we can open up the ruins. Secret of the Ring Ruins. Oh. Well. Mm. You again? We're busy researching the floating ring ruin. Don't get in the way. Come on, I am the one that let you. Oh. Honestly, was, I was taken aback when I heard the Princess Zelda was an imposter. That's a lot to swallow, you know? But I'm so glad that I can finally start my long church research on the floating ring ruin. Aww. The only trouble is I still can't figure out a way to see this on the left side, but I can't condone breaking these precious ruins. This riddle is a tough one, to be sure. Mm. Still, my hook's baited now, and I'm not letting go until I get a bite. Mm. Finding out that Princess Zelda I met was. I met with was a palm of the Demon King. How to put these two words? Let's just say it's thrown me off my balance. It's so hard to believe. Ah. And yet, I do believe you, Mr. Link. I could not bring myself to doubt before even a moment. 
And if this rune poses some kind of threat to the Demon King, then we must accelerate our research at all costs. However, looking inside the ruins without damaging them is a difficult hurdle, one well beyond my understanding. Miss Mr. Lynx, lend your wisdom to Mr. Tauro. With your help, I'm certain a way forward will be revealed. Well, we are not known for our wisdom. Oh, I thought maybe there would be a better path here, but no, we could just have climbed the hill. Uh, oh yeah, Taro had to translate those for me, right? I couldn't just read on my own. Yeah. No chest or anything. He didn't just did he? You you saw me? No nobody ever It looked like you disappeared into the ring. Nobody noticed that. But that can't be right. I oh, forget I said anything. I must have imagined it. Ooh, what about this image? Nobody ever sees that. What's this you've got? Could it could it really be? Fire colour. Look at this. No. Could this be? The interior of the floating ring ruins. Wow, the stone slab is so clearly visible. Uh, there appear to be some inscriptions on this one as well, just like the in the other ring ruins. Taro, if you would. Right, let me see what I can decipher. Hmm. Promise Zelda, solemnly sign Minero, Sage of Hide the Key, South. East Taro interest future with which defeat Demon King. That's all I can make out. There's some lettering I can figure out before Southeast, but Minero seems to be someone's name. No. Hmm. Look at the context of Minero. I do believe this is the first time one of these slabs has put a name to a sage. It also mentions Zelda in a Demon King. How fascinating. <laughs> huh, the inscriptions are telling us all sorts of essential information. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Mm. It's nothing. It's just that part before the southeast section. I think it says Dragon Land. Oh, she's picking up some Zonai that even he didn't understand. Mm -hmm. huh? oh. You're right. If I announce her stuff, this should be read as Dragon Lane, Southeast. Dracozo River. Fantastic work, Paya. Uh -huh. Oh, thank goodness I've proven useful. It seems my continuous zone language studies have paid off. <clears throat> oh no, I'm being upstage. <laughs> uh. Uh, where are we? Something about a Dragon Lane to the Southeast. Mm -hmm. mm. How familiar are you with Southeast Hyrule? There is a site in Pharaoh that has long been known as the Zona Ruins. It predates the ruins falling from the sky and is home to, my, to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there were dragon designs on, on those ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. <laughs> oh, Khalid, great catch! The Zona Ruins in Pharaoh. Yeah, I I just passed by and didn't check around. There should be some Zona Survey team members there. There's a good chance that's exactly what 
this is pointing us at. Mm -hmm. That's our colleague, fantastic work. Oh. I. I. What did you just say? Uh. That this inscription is pointing us towards Pharaoh's zone of ruins. Oh. No, not that, the next bit. A certain adjective was used. I believe it started with pen and ended with task. What was that kid again? Mm. Uh, fantastic work, you mean? <laughs> uh, yes, fantastic work. That is what you said. Mm, yes. Calip, what fantastic work you said. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Me. Oh. Link, when we put together the script on this stone slab and translate it, we get definite mentions of the sage Minero, the Demon King, and someone with the same name as Princess Zelda. Well, we've told the other guys that Zelda's in the past, couldn't we tell them? Something related to all three of them must be waiting at the Zona Ruins in Southeast Haru. Uh. We've landed a real catch here. Thank you for your help, truly. Now we have no time to dawdle. Let there is research to be done. <laughs> Calip, will you join me? <laughs> oh, of course. I will be a uh, fantastic addition to the team. Mm. Very good. With that settled, let's be off to the zone of ruins in Pharaoh. Okay, so I probably would need them to advance anyway. First, we had southwest. Uh, we will establish a base in the Poplar Foothill at the Skyview Tower by the ruins. In search for new discoveries, <laughs> we make for Pharaoh. <sighs> uh, they left just like that. Well, I'm sure those two will be fine. I must study more about the zone civilization, so I don't fall behind Tower and Khaled. Yet, it seems a more frivolous next to the mystery of the real Princess Zelda's whereabouts. I don't doubt that she is safe and well, I must believe that. As chief of this village, I cannot leave my people, so I must place the search in your capable hands. I pray that Princess Zelda return to us soon. So there is a tower called Point 2. I must admit that I'm not too knowledgeable about that place. However, this is what I know. There's an investigation site set up at the Skyview Tower in the Poplar Foothills, southwest of our village. That's what they said in any case. I'm sure those two will be alright. They are quite savvy. Firmly believe that they will make a huge discovery about the Demon King and the sage called Minero. Uh, and you have some, don't you? Oh. Uh, yeah. According to look out, there are eleven. Oh. I don't even know how many I have. This picture. Hmm. <laughs> you start just later away. Uh, yes, I see now what we have here. Oh. First thing, historical account. Here's what the original text mm. says: Sonia, Queen to Haruk's king. By birth, Hylian Priestess, uh, Priestess, herself born of land, not of sky above, born of land, not the sky. Speaking she with open heart, earnest to all, you, you even Zona's king. Um. This king, I think, this king think a good adventure so to learn of the lane's folk. So, seeing his headband to listening, is switch pleasures. Oh. Wow, this one looks to be about Queen Sonia. He claims that Sonia was a priestess before marrying Rauru. Despite his status as Zonai, all the people properly thought to be gods, she would console him without any trepidation. Moreover, Haro heeded this counsel. Ah. Incredible. This counsel gives us first-hand knowledge 
of the nature of Queen Sonia and King Rauru's relationship. Do I get them in a specific order here, or or it's based on which one I actually took a picture of? Rauru found himself unexpectedly charmed by her strong will, and before long they were married. Mm. Uh, the life beast isn't in the text, that's me speculating. Nonetheless, this is truly fascinating. History, history rarely speaks of a person's character prior to being elevated to royalty, so I can't help but fantasize. Very good, and as promised, I have a reward for you. Oh yeah, I get oh. money for that. The thought such an incredible historical artifact falling down all over Haru is so exciting, according to some slams, a 10, shows picture. <laughs> I think I have at least one more. Hmm. I can start translating right away, so now we have here, oh. first historical, what does it mm. say? Quinte Minero, the king's elder sister. sister. Uh, she, she's also a queen, or that's written differently than Queen Sonia. Follow so deep in her books, which that shot for it forgets to eat. In me, we're weird way don't I ain't mean weird way don't e what much e con huh? but if for haven that it been little avail I don't get that of late treated she of constructs things did she make with her Paints as vessel for spirit. Are there spirits in cycle structs? Uh, for spirits, when bought. I don't know why there's that leech over there. But when the body fade falling. So said she. Might she live long in spirit? A uh, house within this construct. Oh no, okay, it's a specific construct. Ah, so we find her. So Minero seems to hold in any deceit. By my faith, I cannot outstrove this word's belief in. Um, oh. okay. So King Rauru's older sister was named Minero? Ah. Here we learn the bit about Nero. Uh, it says that she neglected to eat or sleep while making something called a construction. No, when she was deep in her books, she forgot that. It was part of her research into a means of returning to life as a spirit possessing, possessing a new body, should her original one die. Hmm... To you or I, it sounds less like history, more like sort of a ghost story. Well, ghosts are a fact in Zelda. But remember who we are dealing with? They may have had unfathomable powers that made such things possible. The revelation that Minero was a fellow researcher makes her feel like a kindred spirit to me, and yet... Ah. The Chamberlain, who inscribed these stone uh, tablets, treats Minero with such care and kindness that it warms my heart. Very good, as promised, a reward. Ah. The incredible one, oh, nine, you have, do I? Ah. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, which wondrous sight I have. Be healed and that can it not just be described. The Temple of Time I saw an old land held it, risen to the sky, both fearful and majestic. I thought that happened after the zone, I, after the events. Will we see that? As Princess Zelda told me, 
and for distant future comes a champion to that place. They hope that Haru is safe. Well, well, yeah, but there was really no point in lifting that up. We could just found it on the surface anyway. For that champion be hit that his great thanks scribbing. The king's elder sister Nero says no the stain to the sky. Then the champion my Iridan. <sighs> and spinning and it lie down. Ah. It's incredible fine. An eyewitness account of the temple of time floating up into the sky. Oh yeah, you guys don't really know there's a temple of time up there, do you? Mm. It's a landmark discovery for the history of Haru. It may it may be one of the top 10 most important discoveries of all time. Even among all the breathtaking displays of power we knew of uh, from the era, to raise the lane and its buildings into the sky, that was a feat impressive even to those accustomed to wonders. You can tell as much from this account. We already knew, we just have to look up. We already knew they could lift the land mm. somehow. Zelda predicted that a hero would appear in the land they raised into the sky, and that he would save Haru. The Chamberlain took this on faith and wanted to know how she could help. So she inscribed these records on the stone tablets that Minero sent into the sky. Ah, uh, I'm so overwhelmed that the tremors have gone past my hands and legs, my whole body is shaking. Please excuse me, there's no way for a researcher to behave. I need to view these accounts as a historian and not get swept up in personal sentiments. Very good, and as I was promised, I have a reward for you. Uh, uh, uh. Here's, I have more. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh. Okay, what's mm. this? Waru King, her king, Sonia, her his her queen, uh, his other sister, Minero, and Ik Princess Zelda. What's that Ik supposed to be? All whom I served and loved. All whom Thurgon. What? A long curve I this words upon this stand. Ah, stand. So stand bef before was stones. A long curve I this words upon this stone. This stone, one of thirteen, seven uh, royal families record. My work final, full wrote for all age may the mark made by these much beloved people some insane some unseen when I make remembrance of her marks fell I flame of hope so full small within me he be all through his Mark some grand design describe it. Describe it. I cannot meet Princess Zelda, her love for her land. What more than as Kai can I do for her people? Let my life lead me from henceforth. An answer for worth to this question. Oh, it seems that this is the last of the records. The royals whom the Chamberlain served so faithfully were gone one by one. His heart threatening, his heart threatening to read. Her pain comes across so clearly in her words. Uh. Uh, what's less clear from this entry is the cause of all these parties. Well, each new mystery is an opportunity to do more research. To keep digging someday, I will unravel it. Ah, like noble Chamberlain, I must do my part. Very good. Ah. Okay, seven oh. more. Good <laughs> words for you. Thanks, Jeremy.
Oh yeah, he'll push there. Okay, I think if I take pictures oh. of them all, he'll read them in order from my pockets. But yeah, if that was the last one, mm. it's based on which ones I found a picture of. Oh. Uh, okay, where are you guys? Oh, I didn't see you there. As I'm beat. Oh. Uh, so you're here, come to learn about the Zone from an expert, I gather. I shall welcome you to our humble base of operations. Behold, this is where the real investigation starts. It might not seem like much next to the Skyville Tower, I'll concede. Can you guys oh. rest inside? I mean, it's not like there are much more. Besides a uh, trampoline for me. Going forward, our research will proceed from here. Taro has already gone off to the zone of ruins. Memory serves, he spoke of starting his investigation around Dracoso Lake. Go southeast, and you should find the zone of ruins you volunteer to inspect. Oh. I'm curious if the dragon lane written of at the ring ruin will have any more leads on the Demon King or Princess Zelda. Ordinarily, I'd be right there in his side in the field, of course, uh. but I'm worn out from setting up the base. Come on, other other teams have a decent uh, tent. Um, I'll need some time to recuperate before I begin my own survey. Goodness me, is there anything at all that slows down Tauro? And before heading. There, let me just upgrade this armor. I never notice her thing behind her ear. It's just like a little fairy's wing. All right. All right. That took a while. Uh, let's go back there. Um, it doesn't really do anything for having the whole set. This could have a bigger bonus on defense having the whole set. There's a cave nearby. Oh, there's a road here. Why? How dare you do that to my bananas? Fine then. I'll put you on the ground. That wasn't here. Oh. What do I have to place here? Its head. Huh. 
Ah, okay. Let's offer a horn like this one. Yeah, that's the most similar one. That it? No. No. Maybe this would be part of a quest. Well, should I start here? Looking for him? Or will he be closer to that? Oh, another one. Ah, there's a chest there. Ah, same thing. Okay. I think I have to do something with that. Hmm. Okay, they all have the same kind of horn and stuff. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's for some quest afterwards. Oh, charge headdress. Using ancient rituals and made from conductive materials, this item produces electricity during thunderstorms. Uh, isn't it dangerous for me? My own weapons are dangerous for me when they, it's raining. I think Tauro would be where it's safer. Oh damn, she won't be able to get there. <laughs> Didn't saw me! Yeah! Charged trousers in ancient times rituals mm, in ancient ritual <laughs> using ancient rituals and made from conductive material. This item produces electricity during thunderstorms. Uh, they are quite close, the others were slightly more hidden. Ah, there, okay, it's probably where he is. Oh, interesting. Uh. Huh, you came after all. I figured it would after you made the breakthrough at the Ring Ruins. Listen to this. I've already got a whopper, a whopper of a discovery on my hook here. Yeah, uh, here, look at this. Yeah, there wasn't <laughs> anything like this on the others. It's a Zona mural, complete with intact text. The style is unmistakable. It's nothing short of miraculous that it's still here and basically intact. Which, come to think of it, might be ascribable to the Zona's advanced technology. I've got a fair bit of knowledge on this of the script, so I just had a I try to decipher in it, but some of it still eludes me. Mm. Maybe it's a poem or some kind of code, perhaps. Here, I'll read it out loud so we can both get on the same page. Oh. This first part says, "Where the electric garb hidden and long-necked dragons along the wine-mouthed forest serpent." What do you make of four serpents and dragons there? 
To me, it calls to mind the tall pillars found around these ruins, designed to look like dragons. For serpents, though, I haven't seen any designs like that. What am I missing? What other white mouth for serpent is there? Maybe uh, the four serpent bead does remind me of a song that compared the Dracoso River to a forest dragon. But anyway, there is more to this code. I'll keep reading. Aww. It says, offer is only charged to the altar at the tail. Oh, okay, the one that was empty. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got it right, but I have no idea what it means. Mm -hmm. uh, what in the world is a zone charge? And where is this tale with an altar? If we can crack all the riddles in this code, I'm sure that even greater discoveries await us. How convenient that much longer than 10,000 years ago, the Rokoso River had the same shape. Charge church. Shouldn't it be like carbs? That isn't a shirt. Used in ancient rituals and made from conductive material designed to produce electricity during thunderstorm. I like the paints, but I'm not really a fan of the unicorn look. This one's much cooler. That's kind of cool, but I, I don't like the the head there wait just a minute that outfit you got on isn't that the same thing the figure in the mirror is wearing oh. wearing hardly to find that what an explorer you are mm. in a chest in the back of this chamber <laughs> that's true there's nothing else it could be but a garment from the age of legends now, that's a hall to remember. Uh. You look like you could have stepped right out of the mirror. Uh, it's like I'm talking to someone from the Age of Legends. No one makes discovery after discovery quite like you, Link. You've got it. You've done it again. It's, so, it's all so exciting. Oh. I think your discoveries have brought us a step closer to solving the riddle. That where the electric guard part of the code... It could be about the garments from the Age of Legends that you found. Aww. But that still leaves us with the other part. Offer a zone charge to the altar at the tail. What is a zone charge? And this altar at the tail. Where do we start looking for it? Could another tall dragon pillar be marking the outer side just like the others you found? Oh, there's a chair nearby. Uh, uh, yeah, that's... It's getting wet. Huh. Dear Caleb, the influence of the upheaval has spread to the zone of ruins. Did you see the pillar-shaped ruins in front of this tent? There shouldn't be artifacts of that kind around here. An anomaly. And what? And there's more. The rubble at the base of the pillar opened, revealing a way inside, a new discovery. Naturally, I will be going inside to investigate shortly. Join me as soon as you can, Toro. Maybe Kalip will get here after we advance a bit more. Oh yeah, there is a shrine, but it's probably hidden behind that. I don't think I have anything from Farosh. Hmm, above? Okay, maybe I can do that. The Vought Swordsman who offers his prayers. I can no longer sense the presence of the Mother Goddess statue which dwells in the vast canyon. I gather that you know something of this? I know the one. It is true then, the Goddess statue in the canyon has toppled. These are ill tidings, the Vought Swordsman. Uh, that is the Mother's Goddess statue. I implore you to help me restore her. Seek the Golden Spirit for Rosh, who loses lightning as she dances across the heavens. When you have gained Forosh's Claw, 
offer it at this spring. Who's for rush? Spirit who takes the form of a great golden dragon, long in shape. Look for the look to the western skies, and you may find for rush there. The source main of your age was for rush's claw. I speak of the sharp claw charged with lightning on the tips of the golden spirit's limbs. One who approaches too closely puts themselves at great risk. Shoot from afar and a fragment should fall safely to the earth. And I'll take care of it. Please I beg this of you. Where? Where? Ah. Eighteen, I guess. I think this is an exact. All right. New for rails. Chu Kong try. Come on. Turn this light. Okay, that was nice. Ah, the one's going already. <laughs> Elixir. Well, I could also have made a platform on top of the sled. Oh, I better stay on. Oh, that looks dangerous. That looks dangerous. <laughs> okay, I. I Built for rails. This thing wasn't built for rails. Okay, I don't really need all that. I just need that. That may even work better. I hope. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was what I was most most supposed to do. Cause don't really have a right way. Uh just that over there, there could be another Uh-huh. I think it's easy. Oh no. That isn't that easy. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Oh no, not that. 24 is fine. Yeah. That was cool. Man, there should be a place where we can build rails. There could be a roller coaster tycoon Hyrule with that. That was cool. Kinda slow, but it was cool. 